everybody. <clears throat> hey, uh, hi. Hey, everyone. Kyrie091 hanging out with you, boy. Oh, boy, are we going to have big fun today playing some Final Fantasy Tactics? So, I'm actually doing a little bit of poaching right now. There we go. Got one. I had two dragons to poach, so I'm just going to get that out of the right way real quick. Um, plus, it kind of I got some new parameters for my um, calculator, so I'm kind of having some fun and trying them out here. Okay, so that's who's going to get hit if I were to do that. What if we change it to... Oh, I already know about level 4. What about CT4? Who's CT is... Oh my god. That might be worth doing. I'm going to do it. Let's check this out, guys. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that might heal that bomb guy, actually. I forgot they, they're probably healed by fire. So this guy, yeah. Okay, that's okay, though. Wow, dude. Why is it doing so little damage? I really would have thought fire 3 would do a bit more damage than it's doing here, but okay. Whatever. Oh, well. So yeah, that that was cool. You could fire three pretty much the whole map there. Anyways, um, I'm going to poach this other dragon, finish up the random battle, and then we'll get going. You know, to be honest, I don't think I like using a calculator. And we poached him too. Good deal. Everyone says they're so good because they can hit pretty much everyone on the map. But I don't know, man. Like... I don't know, uh, her magic power is so weak as a calculator. If I had her as like a wizard or like a summoner or something, uh, you know, for example, I just did a Cure 3. It cured like 70. The cure 3 is like a priest cures like well over 100. I don't know, man. It's just kind of weak. So, we poached two of our dragons, made a little bit more room. Oh, we got another pig to poach. We'll go get the, one of them later. We're not going to do that right now. Um, I'm kicking him out. I don't know why he's still with me. I kicked Malak out. I don't know if you noticed that, but Malak is gone. I might actually kick Melia Duel out too. Not right now, but if I start running low on space again, I'm going to have to. Because honestly, man, she's, she doesn't really add anything. I don't really see any reason to keep her. I'll never use her. She she has the... um. She has the these moves, which are cool, but freaking Orlando has them too. And a bunch of other shit, so I won't ever use her. Alright, so, normally in this part of the story, we're supposed to go to Igros Castle. I'm um, not sure why we're supposed to go there. It had something to do with, we tried to find Alma over here in Limbury, and we weren't able to find her. Um, they, uh, Elmdor said they took her somewhere to try to resurrect uh, the angel. They were going to use Alma's body. So I think we're supposed to go to Igros next. But before we go there, first I want to go to Gaug Machine City. And you can do this anytime in Chapter 4, by the way. You don't have to wait until uh, as long as I waited until after you go to Limbury and all that. You can do this beginning of Chapter 4 if you want. In fact, I, I probably should have because this is a pretty long series of side quests. And it's going to really take me away from the main storyline for a while. Mustadio. He found something in the drift. What'd he find? Uh, didn't know what to prod where. What is this steel ball? Who knows? Oh, it reacted to the Holy Stone. Maybe it's Lukavi. What is this mark? That's a Zodiac mark, by the way. That best, best Rodeo is Mustadio's dad, in case you didn't know that. Um, here's something, though. You need to have Mustadio... Okay, Mustadio permanently joins your party back in Chapter 2. And you need to have him still in your party to, for these events to be set in motion. So if he dies or if you kick him out, you cannot do these these uh, side quests here. Next, we're going to make our way over to Golden Cull City. Um, I will see you guys there. If I get into a random battle, I'm going to cut away. There it is. This is a really, really funny random battle. Look where it started these bad guys. Look. It started them in depth to water. That's hilarious. Uh, Ramza still has the secret hunt, so I'm going to poach pretty much everything here if I can. And I actually brought the pig with me to poach him just to free up some space in my my roster thingy formation, whatever it's called. 
Yeah, he doesn't like when I do this to him. By the way, if you stop in the poison marsh here at Ziggala Swamp, you get poisoned. So that's why my calculator is now poisoned. Not sure if I've ever demonstrated this, but when you use Phoenix Downs on Undeads, it kills them instantly. Makes sense. I think that Ice Soul move looks really cool. Hey, why didn't he get poisoned? What did I have? Good deals. That's kind of lame that he didn't get poisoned, but oh well. So I'm just going to have the calculator move over here and do this. By the way, that the stick that she's using sometimes adds the innocent status effect. I have no idea what that does. I'm not sure what the innocent status, uh, status effect means, but hey, her stick sometimes does it. I poached a bunch of things in that fight. In addition to the uh, porky, I got a couple. I got a couple skeletons and something else. I don't remember what. Maybe one of those bomb guys. I don't remember. Let's check out the, um, we're at a Dorter Trade City. Let's check out the spoils of our, uh, poaching. We got this thing. Um, preventive normal status. Look at this. Cancels undead, darkness, silence, frog, poison, slow, don't move, don't act, and death sentence. Awesome. And then all this stuff, too. I think we already had some of this. Uh, the cologne, the perfumes, the women's perfumes are pretty cool. Protect and shell, float and reflect, and this one does always regen and re-raise. And then we got these assorted items over here, too. I'll buy this one. Oh, a couple of those. Buy them all. Alright. Let's see if we can get up to Golan Coal City without getting in a fight. Hey, hey! Let's go to the bar. Uh, let's hear this rumor here. Ghost of Colliery. There are several coal mines in Golan... But a monster seems to have recently settled in one of them. A plan to gather knights to suppress the monster is being made by the administration. But due to the war, no progress has been made. The administration put up a reward for anyone who slays a monster. I'll hope for a quick solution. Okay. So, apparently there's a rumor about a monster that needs to be killed. Well. I guess we better get right on that. Let's go to Lasalia. So, after you read Ghost of Colliery, you automatically are triggered into this little scenelet. And Lasalia. But what's going on in Lasalia? Well, if the game had ever finished loading. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's a unique looking character sitting at that table with a cup in front of him. And he's all by himself. That must be our man. Welcome, something to drink? Milk, please. It was true, they're monsters in Goland. The coal mine was shut down. We can't count on knights in this day and age. All of Golan's recruiting hunters out here. Are you a hunter? You'd make good money. I don't care about the money. I can't leave people in need. If only Sir Balbanes were alive. But there's one that even a master hunter can't beat. And that's a big problem. Oh, it's a holy dragon. Uh-oh. Are you going? Yeah, I'll just go and see. Good luck. So Rams is going to go check out this holy dragon problem. And this knight is going to go with him. Who are you? My name's Beowulf. I'm a hunter. I've been searching for this holy dragon. What do you think? I'll probably be helpful. Yeah, let's take Beowulf along with us. All right, let's go together. You can pay me later. Let's go. All right, so some dude Beowulf is going to be joining us to go hunt this monster. Okay, I guess we have to go back to Golan Coal City and hunt this monster. Let's take a look at Beowulf. He should be in our, as a guest here. He comes with, oh, look, he comes with the rune blade. Why does he have a circlet? That is kind of an older item there, Beowulf. Um, who's wearing crystal mail? Oh, um, oh, the samurai is, isn't he? Well, we're in Lasalia. Let's get some better armor for Beowulf while we're here. Although, I might want to leave the light robe on him because I think that he casts spells, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Yeah, MP. All of his things require MP, so he, he's a temple knight. That's kind of cool. He has Don't Act. I like that. I like a lot of his spells. He has some cool stuff. Ooh, shock with an exclamation point. All right. Um, I guess he's good to go. So let's just uh, 
give him something better than the elf mantle. I guess I'd rather have him have the feather mantle if he's going to be wearing a mantle. And rune blade. I don't know if we can do any better than that. I can give him the save the queen. I'll give him that. No, I'm going to keep him with the rune blade because I, I don't know if he's going to like leave the party or something. I don't want him to take my save the queen with him. I only have one of those. All right. Let's move. Golan Cull City. We better save it first. I'm sorry I keep snuffling into your ear, guys. I'm not trying to do that. Colliery Underground something if floor. Okay, so who are we going to bring? We'll, we'll bring... I think we're going to have two teams. Ingram with Ramza here. And you. And then... Actually, I'd rather have you over here. And then on the other side... We'll put you and Orlando. You know, I'm pretty sure Beowulf will be with us too as a guest. Okay. We're looking for a holy dragon, guys. Should be tricky. How is this underground? It's snowing. Didn't it say we were underground? This does not look very underground. Okay, so I don't know why we have to fight these guys. But if we gotta... Okay, so they have... Oh! Wait a minute. Mithril gun. Where's another chemist? Mithril gun. A lot of chemists. Jeez. Mithril gun. Mithril gun. Another chemist. Mithril gun. I'm looking for specialty guns here, guys, but I'm not finding them. So I guess we'll just kill these guys. Okay, so this one's dead. God damn, Orlando, you're too good at shit. Orlando is just like a freaking wrecking crew, man. I still have secret hunt on Ramza. I kind of wish I would have given him concentrate or something, but whatever. I guess we'll poach this guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't poach humans. Okay, so here comes Robert. Oh, shit. Look what he's doing. How did he do that? The guy's name is Redford, by the way. I was going to call him Robert Redford. Then he phoenixed down someone and pissed me off and ruined what I was working on. And then here's Hamilton. Alexander. Oh, he's going to shoot my calculator. He's going to just auto push that shit away like it's no big deal. Stupid Alexander. And then here, what's this guy's name? Bru... Okay, Bruce. This is awesome. We got Redford, Bruce, and Alexander. All right, Beowulf, do something fancy. Oh, he's going to cast Don't Act. Why, oh, that spell animation's cool, though. He kind of, like, swings his sword at him. I like that. Okay, so this dude's going to X-Potion himself. That's not going to matter in a moment, but, hey, go for it. Why not? Okay. Let me show you guys how to gun people. You do it like this. Just like that. That's how I do it anyway. Um, Samurai. Let's see what we can draw out. What, what do you do? Okay, so that's the restore HP one. I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. This should hit uh, that guy back in the corner there. It didn't kill him, but it slowed him. Handy. Okay, time magic. Move into here and get hit by that haste. There you go. A fight like this would be good to use um, a calculator skill that would hit everyone on level like zero because that's where everyone is. But I don't have one. I don't think I have that handy. So we'll just go over here and kill that guy up there. With lightning, lightning stab. Are you going to be so good, Orlando? Absorb power in the sky and strike. Do it. Go on. Why are we killing these guys? We're supposed to be here, like, hunting a beast. And instead, we're just going to, like, butcher a bunch of chemists real quick. Like, I don't, I don't know if I get 
what we're doing. Oh my god. Does he have blade grasp or something? Why am I not hurting him that bad? And I can't hit I can't don't act him either because he has a um, thief hat on. And here comes Robert Redford again. He's gonna throw a potion at his buddy, I bet. Oh, he's gonna shoot. Auto potion? Yeah. Thank you for healing me. That was awesome. I love when that happens. It's like a it's like like right then, he hit me for ninety six, I healed for one fifty. I got a free heal without using a turn. That's great. I'll take that whenever I can get it, man. Okay, how are you doing for health? 76. Can I kill you from here? I can, and I will. Okay, so you're gone. That was good. And I think I'll kill this guy now. Yeah, he has two swords, by the way. My samurai does. So, yeah, he can level shit, too. He's, he's quite the powerhouse. Beowulf, you were not very much help in this fight. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice critical hit, Ramza. Okay, so why do we have to kill them again? We're supposed to be here hunting a holy dragon, and we just butchered a bunch of poor, innocent chemists. All right, boy, that fight was kind of easy. Those guys didn't put up too much of a challenge. Remember, when never save over your main save file when you're doing these. Always save on a secondary one. Um, all right, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to progress deeper and deeper underneath the uh, Golan Coal City. Hopefully, it's not snowing underground in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you then.